everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, what's up? My name is Ling, what you say it? So in today's video, it's kind of like an impulse type of video. I had an issue this morning with my Alex drawers. So I use Alex drawers to help organize my makeup. Every single makeup junkie in the whole entire world pretty much has an Alex drawer. And uh, what happened is that one of my Alex drawers, it's so overfilled that the bottom part of the Alex drawer pretty much broke off kind of, but I managed to refix it and refix it, is that even a word? I managed to fix it and it's now okay, but today it made me realize that I need to declutter this specific drawer because it's just overfilling and what I'm gonna do is that I'm actually gonna donate this makeup put it in a giveaway pile and give it to one of you guys so if you're interested in winning some of my own personal makeup then keep on watching all right guys are you ready so this is the drawer that I need to declutter and I couldn't fit this in. I, I don't know why, because earlier on it fitted in fine, but when I took everything out to fix my drawer, I had to take this big old thing out to fix it, of course, the bottom part of the drawer. Yeah, I can't fit it back in, even though it fitted in earlier, but anyway. So some of this makeup, I'm actually going to put in a giveaway pile now. None of it is dirty or broken or whatever, it's just that I've used it probably once or twice in a video and I just no longer need it so I will give it to one of you guys let's start decluttering shall we right ah. so I just got this in literally the other day so I'm gonna play around with this a little bit more it's just the glam glow times becca highlight oh my god it's so soft and look how pretty that is oh so I'm just gonna hold on to this for a little while and then in the future donate it to someone I'm definitely gonna donate this it's a cream blusher and girl girl I don't know cream blusher mm-mm mm-mm mm boxim absolutely loves these bronzers and it smells amazing amazing as well. It smells like coconutty. It smells very beachy. It is quite strong, the smell. I do like this blush and I actually have another one if I can find it. Okay, I, I can't be bothered to find it right now, but once I declutter, I will show you guys. So I'm just going to put this in the maybe pile. I'm definitely going to donate this away to someone because the contour colors is just not for me. This suits someone who's a little bit more pinkish, reddish undertone. I'm warm tone and these are cool tones, so these are not going to work for me. I have to keep these because these are limited edition highlighters by MAC and these were only sold in Selfridges. So I'm definitely going to keep these two. Such beautiful highlighters, but they're so mash up though. You see all of that fallout oh my god gonna keep my fenty blotting powder one because it's really dirty and i don't think any of you guys will like me to donate that i think that's really gross so i'm just gonna keep that for myself love laura mercier blushes these are brand new actually but i'm gonna actually keep them because what's so special about these blushes is that they're moisturizing so if you suffer from really dry skin they actually have a moisture compound in there even though it's a blusher powder type of thing it still glides onto the skin without bringing out any of the flakiness in your skin so I am obsessed with these Laura Mercier blushes I'm gonna keep hold of these this is a Laura Mercier highlighter oh my god I've been dying to get a Laura Mercier highlighter forever and I finally got one I'm so proud of myself to finally have one and these are stunning oh yes I am going to donate the Re I'm gonna donate the Makeup Revolution Pro HD this is amazing for someone who is a makeup artist and they're traveling and you know they don't want to carry their bougie expensive products in case they might get stolen or might get broken because I've had horrific stories of makeup artists where their products get stolen but this is like really cheap this is like less than a tenner so I'm definitely going to donate to someone and this is very good quality as well another Becca highlighter this is the limited edition Chrissy Teigen times Becca highlighter I believe it's so beautiful I love this I'm going to get rid of this because I just don't wear it I'm going to throw this out but I promise you guys I only use it probably like two three times going to throw these away because I just feel like these are so useless and I don't even want to put this in the giveaway pile. So these are the Zoeva strobe gel and these are so gross. Like, can you see how nasty that is? And I'm not a fan of jelly highlighters. I love the concepts and I love the sound of it, but I just feel like jelly highlighters are not for me. And they're so like difficult to play with. I mean, I guess you can just put these on your body and it'll just give you like a really nice, beautiful sheen, but it takes forever to set onto the skin. And it's just... It's just not for me. 
Oh my god, I have to keep this. This is my favorite highlighter ever. I love Hustler Baby. I don't know what the point of this highlighter is because I feel like it doesn't show. Like, it shows on your hand, but when you put it on your face, it just doesn't show. I don't know why, but this on the other hand is a little bit more opaque. There's more pigment in there and it's better formulated and this just shows on my skin. And every time I wear this, I get so many compliments and I never get compliments whenever I wear highlighter. So wearing this, I am keeping this. I'm definitely gonna donate this to someone because I feel like, because it's so white, I just personally feel like, because I'm warm undertone, I shouldn't be wearing this type of highlighter because I just feel like, personally, it just doesn't suit me. So I'm gonna donate this. I am obsessed with the Christine Times MDK highlighter palette. I feel like no one ever talks about it. It's so nicely like formulated and it's so soft as well. And oh, it's just so pretty. And it's so like, it feels quite quite moisturizing the highlighter like I don't know how they made this highlighter but it's very soft it's not chunky and when you put it on it glides on the skin so I'm definitely gonna keep this because I'm I was very surprised by this actually because I didn't think it'd be a good highlighter palette but it was very very good I'm gonna donate this oh. <laughs> I'm gonna donate this to a friend because I just don't do cream contour sticks and yeah This highlighter is so blinding. This is the perfect highlighter. If you like want to put highlighter on, but you're looking for like a topper. Oh my god, this is amazing. And my pizza is here. One second, guys. And I'm back already. Oh, I'm definitely going to keep this because there's like a dent in there. So I accidentally dropped this. I don't know what I was doing and my nail just like dug into it. Oh my god, I need to show you an eyeshadow palette where I absolutely ruined with my nails. It's so funny. Okay, are you guys ready? How awful is that? Like, how did I manage to do that? I don't know, but it's something I would do anyway. Anyway, definitely gonna keep one of these. Are these two the same things? I didn't even realize I had two of the same things. Oh no, they're two of the different things. Oh my god. These are actually limited edition NARS highlighters. So, oh my god. I'm one of those people when brands bring out limited edition makeup products, I can't help but keep them and cherish them forever because it's limited edition. It's like buying a limited edition hoodie or t-shirt from like Supreme or something. Like you want to keep it forever. So, I'm going to keep hold of these until I get bored of them and give them someone else. <laughs> Definitely gonna keep this because this is one of my first ever palettes that I've ever custom made at MAC. I literally went into the MAC store and they were like to me, Ling, you can customize your own palette. So I went ahead and did it. I haven't even touched it, but that doesn't mean I don't like it. I do love it. These colors I chose, I wanted to choose earthy colors, like colors where it represented nature. So that's why I chose green, um, pink and blue. Definitely gonna keep hold of this for memories because these, this, this was a good day when I selected my Oh, okay. Sorry, something just dropped. This was a good day when I was making my own palette. Oh, I was talking about this before the buzzer went. So this highlighter is from Pretty Vulgar. It's like a topper highlighter. So say, for example, you put like a normal highlighter rod and then you want it to be extra shiny and extra dimensional. If you add a little bit of this on top of your highlighter, it will just add it that bang. I don't know what it is, but when lighting hits this highlighter, oh my God, it's like so shiny. So if you gonna keep the Too Faced Bronzing Chocolate Matte Bronzer. I really, really love these. This is awesome for someone who is like new to makeup and they need something simple and easy to use. Like you can either mix all of these together or you can use them individually. This is from It Cosmetics and this came out not so long ago and I love how this is called Confidence in Your Glow because It Cosmetics is all about self-love and being a powerful person and diversity and everything. So I'm obsessed with this palette. I'm definitely gonna keep hold of this. This is also perfect for traveling as well because you know everything is in there i am so keeping this this is such a beautiful lovely bronzy highlighter so when you put like a normal bronzer on like this one this is just the matte one and you want a little bit of glow but you don't want to put highlighter on this is perfect to put on top of it going to donate this because i just don't use it i have nothing against hourglass makeup i think it's amazing it's just that i personally don't use it did you hear that guys? Coco is outside. Coco! Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, I'm coming. Coco! Say hi to the camera. 
<laughs> oh, shoot. Oh my god, he's okay. He's okay, I promise. He's okay. Moving on, I'm definitely gonna keep the- Coco, can you like scratch your nail somewhere else, please? I wasn't really into EX1 makeup products because it just didn't look like it was for me. But this blusher is, is pretty stunning, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep hold of this. Oh my god, this bronzer. So it's pretty much like an organic bronzer, I believe, because Kiko, they release a makeup range where it's like based on nature and organic. I believe it's organic, so don't come at me if I'm wrong. I'm really, really sorry. I'm gonna donate this. Another fancy highlighter. So definitely gonna keep the trophy wide. This is perfect for like one of those over-the-top dramatic highlighters because it's just it's just a gorgeous colour. Definitely gonna donate this. So this is the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. I personally feel like this doesn't work for my skin and I have used this, but I just feel like it wasn't for me, so I'm gonna donate this. This is an eyeshadow palette. Oh, oh my god. Okay, it's a bronzer palette. I'm going to keep this hourglass blusher. I love it. It's such a beautiful, dark, rosy, purplish type of colour. Gonna keep this bronzer. I mean, this is like my first ever designer bronzer, and this has a lot of memories, and it's so tattered and broken, but Tom Ford does the best bronzers, hands down. If you want to splurge and you want to treat yourself, treat yourself to a Tom Ford bronzer because it blends so nice on the skin. It doesn't make your skin look orangey or anything, and yeah, it's, it's literally perfecto. Another Buxom bronzer. I'm going to donate this one. I'm going to donate all my I Heart Revolution highlighters because I've used them already and I don't see myself using them again. I'm going to donate this to a friend. I'm going to donate this because I don't see myself using this anymore. I'm going to keep this. This is one of my favourite blusher palettes and I use this a lot when I was freelancing as a makeup artist so this has a lot of memories. I am obsessed with the Inglot palette so they custom made this for me and I'm going to keep it forever because I just thought it was so sweet of them to custom made this palette for me. Now I don't really use any of these highlighters but I do use a lot of these powders over here. This orange powder over here is perfect as blush. I know what you're thinking, orange blusher? What the hell? Orange blusher is amazing on people who has like tanned skin because it brings out more of their colour. If you don't trust me, try it out. Definitely gonna donate this because I personally just don't see myself wearing this again but the colours are beautiful and it's so pigmented so I'm gonna give this to someone. Going to donate this because I just feel like it's just not for me. I love Lime Crime. I love the packaging. It's just that I just don't feel like this is a highlighter palette that I would wear on a regular basis. Definitely gonna keep my Becca Opal highlighter because it's small, it's convenient. I can take this with me whilst traveling and yeah, it's just perfect. I just love the size of it. And also it's a beautiful highlighter. I used this the other day and do you know what? I didn't really like it but I'm gonna give this baby a second chance and then if I don't like it for sure, I'll definitely give this away to someone. I'm obsessed with this powder by Urban Decay. I believe this is new. I don't know if they have any other colours but I really hope that they do because this powder is so fine and it doesn't cake up as well and I can apply this throughout the day and like the centre of my face, that's where I get really cakey usually. When I apply this on like the centre of my face, it doesn't really get as cakey as it usually do. Another Tom Ford bronzer. Gonna keep this. One of my first ever designer bronzers from Tom Ford. I mean, oh my god, look how tatted up that is. Wow. Gonna keep this. Love Glam Glow. So if you can see, like, down here, how it's, like, getting lower. What the how? I just realized how much stuff I still have in here so I'm gonna have to do like another declutter because I mean I'm obsessed with makeup but this is just a little too much. <laughs> I love how Nathan is telling my cat shh. <laughs> this is just a little too much makeup. I definitely have a problem. I definitely need to actually get rid of more, but I love every single one of these products and I do use them on a regular basis. If I don't use them, I probably don't use them for like a month and then I'll go back into using it. So yeah. <laughs> he wants to go out but I'm not gonna let him go out. Thank you so much for staying tuned and watching this video. So if you guys are interested in winning 
all of this makeup. All you gotta do is subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and comment down below when you've entered and leave your Instagram name as well. That way I can check you guys out and make sure that you are following me. <laughs> oh, I hope that doesn't sound patronizing, but yeah, I just wanna, you know, make sure that I give this makeup to someone who genuinely likes me and likes my channel. Like, I, I definitely have experience in giving away my makeup to someone who says they like me, and then next thing you know, they unfollow me. So I'm just like, okay. But anyway, I thank you so much for watching this video. It means the absolute world to me. And yeah, let me know if you want to see more declutter videos. I personally love watching declutter videos. So I'll see you soon, guys. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>